Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM and it is more than in 148 scale, it's a combo set I would say because here we get the E153, it's a Luftwaffe version but we also get it with the pilots and ground personnel so in 148 scale it should be an interesting combo for a diorama project and you will get exactly what you see on the box art so the kit number is 48094 and this is the final shape of this release so it means you'll get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and if you cannot wait you can order it already in Modelli Max. So first of all the box size is not that huge because the aircraft itself is also not that big so here is comparison with my hand. We have quite nice box art here and on the side you'll find some information about the kit so I just need to tilt it a bit in order to see it myself. I can see that we have uh, 169 parts per aircraft and also 41 parts for assembly of seven figurines in the same scale and then on the opposite side you can see the marking options they are quite colorful as you can see two aircraft will have the yellow coating and one has the red coating so we will see it a bit more detailed way when we will be checking the marking guide now i just need to cut through the plastic tape in order to see um, how this top cover can be removed. In the meantime I can remind you that you can find the solar uh, re release uh, review with the E-153 on the same YouTube channel which you are watching at the moment and the same applies to the figurines. So what ICM does is basically combining these uh, two solar sets together and giving you a bit more efficient uh, packaging in terms of the pricing and in terms of the uh, overall idea that you don't have to search for the separate kits. So you saw that we have this uh, traditional white cardboard box, we have assembly manuals on the top and then we have the plastic parts on the bottom so I will start with the plastic parts as usual and then we will continue with the assembly manuals as well so just give me a second. The aircraft plastic is not exactly completely new but it's still looking good and you will see it now with your own eyes. So first of all let's start with the frame A1. As you can see here we have the fuselage half and I will just zoom in so that you can see it closer. The surface details are looking good. We have the tail fin molded separately so you have to join it here and actually it is molded on, on the other left fuselage half but as you can see external details they include the uh, resist panel lines and rivets maybe it's worth zooming in even closer so that you can see these details with your own eyes if i flip over this plastic sprue here inside we have some minor cockpit features not that much and we also have some guiding elements in form of these uh, guiding pins so they will help you with the proper alignment and here you can also see the landing gear legs and also landing gear doors as well or covers if you prefer so everything looks all right and just to give you an idea about the size of this aircraft here is comparison with my fingers so it's not that huge aircraft and it wasn't that large in the real life as well so that's why we will not get a big assembly here and for some models this is actually a good thing because they will be able to focus themselves on the um, I would say fine details of this build. So here is the left half and you can see what I was talking about we have the rudder and the tail fin pre-molded here and it's not difficult to guess that they will serve as the guiding element as well so this is a i would say quite smart design it's used among some other icm aircraft kits as well so that's why i know that it works and here it should be working fine as well so now we can proceed to another plastic sprue which is dedicated to various armament here we have various bombs which will be installed under the wing we have also the special attachments which will be holding these bombs in place or were holding on the real aircraft as well and each bomb should be glued out of two house except of this uh, smaller type ones as you can see they are molded as a one piece parts but i guess it's expecting uh, because they are very tiny Next we have the clear plastic sprue, there is only one plastic part and I will show it in a second and I guess it's not difficult to 
understand that here we have the uh, front windscreen section so as you can see it's very tiny part but it looks very nice I like how the clear parts are looking in ICM kits and this part is not an exclusion and I really hope that we get the masking template here but we'll know it once we check the assembly manual now we have one more gray plastic sprue to check so here we have last big plastic parts because this is a biplane that's why we get two wings both wings are one piece also we have the cockpit walls here one piece uh, front cooling section which is also good one piece propeller also one piece landing gear we use and the engine should be also good looking so i think you get everything what you need out of the box and it just depends on your painting and weathering skills and here you can see that we also have this special cutout which will help you with guiding the top wing into the right slot the same applies to the lower wing as well and the wing struts also have to be inserted into special slots so it's not like you will have to do the guesswork here and i think it's really nice because the size of the model again is not that huge and so all of these things will be actually helpful in order to get the better result Next we have one more plastic bag, so this one is dedicated to the figurines and here as you can see we have the pilot figurines and also the aircraft crew. And the parts division is interesting because it's a 148 scale figurine, so they are smaller than the typical 135 ones. And that's why we have the body or the torso molded together with the figurines, uh, legs, and also we have the separate hands. This does not apply to all of the figurines because as you can see the seated mechanics, they have also the separate legs, but this is done due to the position. And if we are talking about the poses, uh, they are predefined, so you won't be able to change much here but I think this is also something what you expect when you are dealing with the plastic figurines and as you can see the sculpting quality is very nice and I do not see any guiding elements here so in case you are worried about the fitment you are um, right because here you have to be careful while joining all of this stuff together but uh, it is also the case in the bigger figurines as well so this is not something special and unusual and if we are talking about the figurines assembly manual so this one comes as the separate brochure for this i will just close the lenses and show you this one separate printout as you can see we have the parts map here we also have the safety note and paint chart and on the rear side you can see the black and white marking guide so for these guys it might be a good idea to get the uh, some of the reference photos or maybe pictures so that you understand how to properly paint them and weather them maybe also check out works of other modelers because it might give you also some food for thoughts in order to understand how to get a bit more convincing appearance of these guys. Uh, as for the aircraft, we have the decals inside the assembly manual, so here it is, not that big uh, decal sheet. And we also get the dials for the instrument panel here, as you can see swastika is separated into several sections. And the seat belts are not included here, so for the seat belts you have to do them by your own. And I really recommend to do it because it's visible through the open cockpit and it would be strange if aircraft will be without it, especially in a 148 scale. So here we continue with assembly manual, this one is printed in color, we have short history note and also technical specifications here. And the parts map. So here interesting thing is that this armament sprue is completely unused so you will not touch it in this build and it will go into your spare parts uh, box straight away which is rather unusual for such a release next we continue with the or we actually start with the cockpit assembly here as you can see it is installed onto the lower wing and then we also add some features on the cockpit walls we join fuselage halves together and then the fuselage covers the cockpit and the lower wing then you can see the engine assembly so the engine is also quite nicely detailed and i wonder how to show it on the aircraft because as you can see uh, manufacturer shows the closed bonnet or clothing so that's why mm, it might be a bit of a scratch building if you would like to do the open cooling uh, panels. Next we continue with landing gear. So landing gear is depicted in a retracted position, no in-flight position. And then there is also a guide for the uh, various parts being installed between the wings. 
and I can see the marking guide for the figurines. That's why I'm a bit slow, because as you can see here, we have the figurines depicted as the uh, 3D images, if we can put it this way, and that's why um, it might be also useful as a guide for um, how to paint your uh, soldiers. Here you can see also the marking guides for the aircraft. So this one is from 1942, another one is also from the same year, but as you can see the marking is slightly different in terms of the main color and also the coding color. And here you can see also another interesting shade combination because we have the lower yellow wing. I think the previous aircraft did not have it, right? No, it does have it as well, so uh, we also have the yellow coating and we have the yellow rudder here as well as the ailerons. So it's quite a bright markings, all three, and it will be an interesting looking choice for such aircraft. And it should be already available, as I said in the beginning, so I would be happy to hear your opinion, write it here in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today, and bye.